My name is David Ortiz, and I'm just a kid from San Domingo. San Domingo is a, it's a beautiful island. We got beautiful beaches over there. You're gonna see a lot of poor people, but amazingly, you're gonna see a lot of smiles. Very happy with nothing. A lot of good people, they definitely take care of you when you come down there. He is a true Dominican. It's the food, it's the music, the atmosphere, it's, it's everything. He loves it, he's so proud of where he's from. I grew up in this one neighborhood that it was one of the baddest neighborhood in the Dominican Republic, and it, it was a nightmare. As a kid, you don't put much attention to it, but your parents, your parents do, you know what I'm saying? My dad, he always wanted me to be playing in the backyard of the house, not in the front, because anything can happen. You don't want to see your child being shot or getting hit by something that can put his life in danger. Él era tan tal que cuando él oía cualquier motor que venía por ahí, yo tenía un motor y cualquier motor que él oía, él se mandaba a creer que era el mío para la casa. First of all, I was scared to death to my dad. <laughs> When the man talked to me, it was like, I got it, dad, no problem. Que sabía que a mí no me gustaba que esté en la calle ni fuera de su de, de su hogar ni mucho menos. Believe it or not, all of the things that we used to do to play baseball back then, it, it pretty much developed us ability. Use broomsticks to hit, uh, you know, the, the 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 little ball that we made. We used to get water cap and play baseball with it. You got to track it because they they kind of move in like 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 a knuckleball. So you got to track it if you if you want to hit it. My sister, her doll, always have a head missing because. I used to get them and uh, shave the hair off and just use it as a baseball. Because we didn't have so much in the Dominican, we became survivors. Yo le pinchaba eh, granito de maíz. Ese sí yo te puedo decir, eso no se enseña. Ese sí lo tenía el natural. Y él cogía su estilo para para batear y él lo hacía muy bien. Entonces yo desde siempre he creído que él iba a ser alguien grande. Porque Mateo Aló lo vio, te digo, a los 15 años, bateándole a un pitcher que viene de liga instruccional. Y ahí Mateo me dijo, Leo, ese muchacho cuando tenga 17 años yo te lo firmo. I remember when I first signed with Seattle, I signed for $10,000. That was like a, like a first round pick money back then. Ese día fue un día de mucho gozo en, en la familia. I got through the minor league kind of fast, so I went from A ball to the big league. When I got to the big league, the first money I really made, I pretty much built my mother's house and got a comfortable. My, my mom and dad, they give me pretty much everything, so I feel like I want to give them back. After the 2002 season, I remember I was released by the Twins. They basically don't want to pay me. It was a bit of a shocker. You know, David took it really hard, and he took it really personal. I was in the Dominican, and I went to this restaurant, and I bumped into Pedro. I see David that day. It was sad, and I, I said, homie, what's up? He goes, homie, I just got released and I just had a baby girl born two weeks ago. I said, now you go with me to the Red Sox. And he goes, for real? Grabbed his phone and he called uh, Larry Lucchino. Basically told him, this guy is special. I remember David took me deep in Minnesota on a cutter inside. And that's when I went to realize that David is probably one of the few big men that can turn on a fastball in. So two days later, the Red Sox signed me, and here I am. Ahí mismo cambió el destino, pero Pedro fue un mentor en los consejos, un gran amigo, fue un compadre y todas las cuestiones. If I am a champion here in Boston today, 
I owe it mostly to David because David carried us in all four. Winning a World Series for the Red Sox, you know, it was it was something that people celebrated that down in the Dominican like like it was Independence Days. So I have a lot of friends that they their dream was to be a baseball player. They didn't make it. So a lot of them struggle because life is not like it's, it's a piece of cake over there. If you come from nothing, I mean, like I have a couple of friends that they are doing time in jail just because they make really bad mistakes. Me and David are fortunate enough to now say that we made it. But I'll tell you that more than 90% of the rest of the guys that we came out with faded away. I'm so thankful for all the others that somehow made it. Cuando tú llegas a Grande Liga, tú quieres ir a un juego de estrella. Luego tú quieres una serie mundial. Y después que tú consigues todo eso, ya tú lo quieres el Salón de la Fama. Entonces, ya esa cuestión es lo que nosotros esperamos, pues ya debía ha conseguido todo eso, inclusive un más valioso en en series finales. Ya ha ganado tres campeonatos. I'm supporting my family, doing what I love. It's something that I really appreciate every day. Well, I think the way he was brought up definitely molded him into the person that he is because there's just so much love. I think the most important thing about us is don't forget where you come from. I love going back to my hometown and you go down there and you say that you know me. <laughs> they really take care of you. <laughs>